to also speak to some important questions that I think uh, it, it, we should be asking right now, uh, especially when there is uh, right next door a conference that gathers uh, universities, NGOs, uh, public uh, state um, entities and companies is that these companies are very well articulated, right? They, are, they have a lot of means, they have a lot of ways in which they seduce all types of actors to their, uh, to their zones of influence. And we need to be very careful. And I could not emphasize this more because some NGOs, some groups are falling into the trap of, I don't know, accepting finance, uh, financing from these companies, uh, accepting uh, resources from them while forgetting that, they, forgetting that they are actually killing people all over the world. And we really need to be careful not to accept that we are co cooptated by them and that they do not appropriate and commodify our agendas of struggle, especially when it comes to sustainability, to environmentalism and to feminism, because this is really something right now. They are, they, they are really surfing the wave of purple and greenwashing. So uh, important questions would be to ask, I mean, how disruptive are we uh, regarding this i mean how do we ensure that in, in a battle that the means and the resources are so uneven how do we keep our independency uh, how do we ally with who do we ally with whom do we articulate uh, reassuring that our political agenda will not be uh, uh, disvirtuated by by this uh, soft skills of corporations to appropriate our agendas. And another question would be also about the participation and, and protagonism and, and how, I mean, how women are participating in the struggle. I think this is also very important because everywhere women are usually the majority in the front lines. They are there with their kids, being bitten by the police, being, I mean, really putting their bodies and their lives in the front lines one way or another. So it is very important that this is translated also in political participation and political space, uh, which sometimes does not happen, right? We know that uh, sometimes uh, men tend to concentrate the political discourse and the political analysis but this should be really a collective thing and both men and women should be participating in politically um, in the construction of the resistance and of the alternatives.